Hey guys, my name is Jesse Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we spent the whole day in the mines gathering up as much iron as we possibly could, and as you can see, I am already down here smelting them. <laughs> we are hard at work making sure that all of our iron gets smelted, because I believe it takes uh, about an hour in the game for the iron to uh, finish smelting, so it's certainly going to take a while to uh, get that completed. So while we finish our morning chores, we will let that uh, smelt in the background, and then we'll make some some crab pots out of those uh, lovely little iron bars. So I'm very excited to see what we'll be able to uh, catch with all of our new crab pots. And I see that we have some uh, maple syrup over here too. I'm glad to see that that's still uh, crafting in the meantime. We have a lot of things to deliver around the town. We need to have our frozen geodes cracked open, which we also received yesterday in the mines. Um, I think we could take this to Gunther. Yeah, it says we can uh, take this to Gunther and donate it to the museum. And I don't believe we gave him a frozen tear yet. I'm pretty sure we gave our previous frozen tear the, to the uh, Junimos. So, uh, hello, Daisy. <laughs> so we'll give that to a uh, Gunther and maybe, maybe we'll be one step closer to possibly getting a new reward. That would be nice. Um, so I think we're going to do that. And I also, oh, there's our iron. There we go. <laughs> that was a lot faster than I expected. I also noticed in our chest over over here we still have our little sprinklers sitting all alone <laughs> in this chest so I was thinking maybe we'd try putting it somewhere around the farm I know at the moment our uh, layout isn't exactly uh, prepared to take on sprinklers but uh, I, I think we could probably find a spot to throw it in maybe where one of these torches are just so we can see how the sprinklers work so we can plan accordingly when it's time to uh, shake up our current layout of uh, the farm yeah I think that's what we'll do um, maybe we'll take this one out and see what happens here I'm not sure if it's going to water them straight away or um, or if it does it overnight um, it doesn't look like it's going to water them so we'll have to continue watering the plants the old-fashioned way for now, but maybe we'll wake up to see that it has uh, properly watered these little uh, sprouts here. Hopefully, anyway. I'm not sure if there's something else that we need to uh, look into before we can use those. Now, I think this is the only patch that I haven't watered yet. It's a little bit hard to tell because these uh, these plants have grown so big and leafy that they kind of block the ground, but I think that's it. I think we uh, properly watered everything we need to for the day, and there the rest of our iron too we only have one little piece left down here <laughs> so we've uh properly smelted all of our iron as well which is always good to see that didn't take too long i guess um we can go in here and check and see if uh the fruit bats left us anything oh no it doesn't look like they did uh so we'll have to wait for some more fruit from our little fruit bat friends but for now we can go say hi to a fluff and quill Hello, little Fluff, and hello, little Quill. Hopefully they left us some uh, good eggs for the day. Let's go in here and check. There they are. <laughs> Today is a Sunday, so I believe that means we might be able to go bring an egg to Marnie. We'll have to uh, go take a look at that. Actually, I think I can open up my social tab here and possibly uh, find her wherever she is. There we go. So um, she hasn't had any gifts this week. So we can go down to her place and uh, see if she wants one of our eggs again. <laughs> but we also need to make those crab pots. So I think I'll do that right away. What else do we need? We need some wood to make some crab pots. And it looks like we can make two more. Two more crab pots with all of that iron that we gathered in the mines. We can only make two more crab pots. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, I think we have enough wood, but I'm going to need to chop some trees down pretty soon. So there's our crab pots. We've officially made two more crab pots to uh, stick into the ground here. So uh, we'll take those either to the ocean or up by um, Robin's place, I think. That would probably be the best place to take them. Oh, and I, I don't think I mentioned this either. I have this little dwarf scroll. Um, I think it's a different one from the one that we found in a previous episode, right? <laughs> we donated one of the dwarf scrolls to Gunther already, but I'm not exactly sure what number it was. So we're just going to cross our fingers that that one's different. Though if it's not, I'm sure we could always sell it off. So it's not a uh, too big of a deal. But we'll bring this egg to uh, Marnie. Yes, yeah, she's in. There we go. <laughs> I'm always worried that uh, she's not going to actually be in her house. Oh, look at that. She has a little green dot now. Okay, maybe that means we can go in here. It does. Oh my gosh, we can finally go in here. Please tell me this is Lewis's purple shorts. Yes, you found the lucky purple shorts. Better return it to Lewis. Finally, we did it, guys. <laughs> we got into Marnie's room. Finally. 
Oh my goodness, oh gosh, put those away. We need to uh, keep that secret, right? <laughs> we don't want anyone seeing Lois's pur purple uh, shorts here, so let's go try to find him now. Where would Lewis be on a Sunday afternoon in the fall time? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I guess we could check in his house. Um, though I have a feeling he might be around the town somewhere. Let's just take a quick peek in here, though, because we're going right by his house anyway. Uh, Lewis. Lewis isn't home. <laughs> he has a really nice house, though, doesn't he? That was a really a nice little place. And there's Harvey down here. We haven't talked to Harvey in a while, so we might as well talk to him, too. Hmm, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. I guess I should try to get patients from the neighboring towns. Oh, well, Gus was in his, uh, in his, what do you call it? A doctor's office. <laughs> I wanted to call it a shop for a moment, but it's certainly not a shop. It's a doctor's office. Gus was, uh, visiting the other day, and, um, before I go into the museum, I definitely want to crack open the frozen geodes first. <laughs> because we might get something out of those that we can donate as well. So let's process our geodes. Let's place that on there. And what is that? That definitely looks new, right? Hematite? Or did we get that before? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I get so uh, confused with all of these different uh, types of minerals. But uh, at least we got one little piece of iron ore too. <laughs> I guess that saves us uh, a little bit of time. So let's donate all of this stuff to Gunther. Let's see. We have a scroll here. I think this is our other one. And it's a different color. So that must mean that it's different. There we go. And um, did we give him this already? I don't think so. There. <laughs> there we go. And our frozen tier as well. So uh, three new things for Gunther. Unfortunately, we didn't get any new rewards. But uh, at least we filled up his shelves a little bit more. We're doing pretty good with that, I think. We're uh, definitely catching up to the way that the museum is supposed to be. <laughs> After all of their other artifacts facts were stolen by uh, the last person who worked there. Now, where is Lewis? Maybe he's at Pierre's shop? Does he go in there? Um, I know he visits Marnie a lot, but obviously he wasn't in there today. Okay, so let's see. The monsters known as slime are throwing the elemental balance into disarray. So the wizard wants us to slay four more slimes, which I know we can do. We can definitely accomplish that. <laughs> and let's see. I did want to check out Pierre's shop anyway, because... I wanted to buy some of these flowers. <laughs> I know they're quite expensive, but I don't want to go through the season without buying some of these flowers. So we're going to buy five of them, and we're going to plant them today, and they will be beautiful. I'm sure they will be beautiful. And Jody, I believe her birthday's coming up soon, isn't it? Hi, Jody. Caroline and I are good friends. I tell her everything. Oh, cool. <laughs> good for you, Jody. Um, Caroline actually lives here, so that's probably why she's taking a quick peek inside the shop today, but uh, we need to go place our crab pots somewhere, don't we? So while we're on the lookout for Lewis, we're going to uh, go place our crab pots down, and here's Caroline. <laughs> She's not even in the house. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? <laughs> well, not in Stardew Valley, do we? <laughs> but it's always good to recharge your batteries with a little positive thinking. So we're going to uh, check on the crab pot up by Robin's house, I think, and we'll see if uh, we got anything worthwhile out of that. Um, I don't think we ever see Lewis up here, do we? Usually not, so we're probably not going to find him up here. But, uh, oh, did we not put any bait in? Oh my goodness, I actually don't have any bait, but I'll just take it off of the uh, fiberglass rod that we bought in a previous episode. And there's a Sebastian. Is this where he was hiding all the time <laughs> while we were searching for him? The sun is coming out less and less these days. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, Sebastian does not sound too happy about that, does he? Um, I'm assuming that was sarcasm anyway. So we'll put one more crab pot in there and we will fill it with bait this time. We will properly fill it with bait. So hopefully we'll be able to catch something out of there. And before I go down to the ocean, I wanted to check out the Adventurers Guild and talk to Linus. <laughs> I don't like to stay in one place for too long. Uh-oh, I hope Linus isn't going to disappear one day. That would be uh, awfully sad, wouldn't it? And there's Demetrius taking his notes again, so we're not going to bother him <laughs> because he probably uh, is very, very in tune with his notes at the moment. So let's go take a look at this bulletin board over here to see uh, how close we are to finishing any of these. Let's see, uh, dust sprites. Okay, that must be uh, those little hoppy creatures in the ice caverns. I was wondering about that. So we need to actually slay 500 of those. 
<laughs> 500 dust sprites, that's a lot. Um, and then our duggies, of course, we're about halfway done with the duggies, so we're not doing too bad there. Our bats, we have a way to go with the bats and the slimes, oh gosh. Um, it doesn't look like those weird rock creatures are on this list either. I was kind of hoping they would be. Oh, look at this. We have a ton of items in here to buy now. Whoa, he really restocked since the last time we were here. Um, I wanted to sell off my old boots to him because there's really no reason for us to have them at this point. Um, oh my goodness. So what do we have? Our insect head. I saw it down here. So it does 10 to 20 damage and has plus two speed. Is there anything in here that's better? Oh, the combat boots are actually uh, pretty good. They're plus three defense. So uh, I'm not sure that might be a little bit better than our tundra boots <laughs> that we got in the last episode. Um, the wood mallet is actually quite a bit better, but it says three weight. I wonder what that means. Uh, maybe it would be harder to carry around in our pockets. I'm not sure. And it doesn't look like any of this other stuff is particularly better than our insect head. So I guess we're just gonna have to go with this for now. <laughs> our uh, little insect head. Quite a bizarre item to be uh, slaying creatures within the mines, but that's okay. Maybe we should take a quick pit stop in here and slay uh, four of those slimes for the wizard, actually. I'm gonna go down to floor 20 this time because I think we can uh, find slimes down here pretty quickly, right? Oh gosh, I haven't seen these guys in a while. Whoa. <laughs> those little grubs that uh, turn into moths. And I actually don't see any slimes over here. Great. <laughs> I was hoping that they would just be uh, hopping around at the moment, but it seems like they're not. So we're going to have to uh, mine out. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> the uh, ladder was right there waiting for us, so we didn't have to... Uh, search too hard for it and that one just popped up too but I'm hoping these slimes are going to be a uh, hiding somewhere here very uh, easily for me to slay it, it doesn't seem like it does it they just don't want to uh, come out of hiding today actually the mines are very quiet tonight this is a uh, surprising surprisingly quiet okay there is a slime over there there's a number one there we go, they are definitely uh, easy to take care of now. <laughs> now that we're uh, so powerful, I guess. Here's a little earth crystal that we can pick up, but I don't see any more slimes down here. Oh my goodness, just the little bugs flying around. So we'll pick up this little topaz, we'll slay this guy because why not, and we'll go down to the next floor. Okay, here's number two. Slime number two, got rid of him. Um, and slime number three. Okay, things are looking up, though uh, we have a little creature to deal with over here. A little crab, I guess, right? Is that what they are? <laughs> they give us cherry bombs a lot, though, so I can't, uh, I can't complain too much about them. Because I love the cherry bombs. Those are pretty much my favorite thing to use down here. And here is number four. There we go. So that should take care of that quest for us. Um... Hopefully, yeah, there we go. Slay uh, four slimes, so we finished that one. I see a little piece of sap down there, but we're just gonna uh, run out of the mines because I still wanna find Lewis before the uh, day is over. <laughs> I definitely wanna give him his purple shorts, though. If for some reason we can't find him because I have had some trouble finding people in the fall time. <laughs> if we can't find him, we'll just give it to him in the next episode. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that at all. So let's just go down back to the town and uh, try to see if we can find him anywhere. Hopefully the wizard's uh, little tower will still be open so we can talk to him, though honestly, we can just turn in that uh, quest in the next episode too. That might be the best idea because we have so much still <laughs> left to do in the day. There is so much to do in one day of Stardew Valley. It is crazy. Hopefully Lewis will be out here somewhere. Hopefully he didn't go to bed early today. Um, he does like to spend his nights in the saloon with Marnie. Um, oh my goodness, it looks like he's not in here though. That's actually surprising. I was really expecting to see him. <laughs> I have your shorts, Lewis. Don't leave us now. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, maybe he's uh, still in here. Maybe his door is open, though it's after nine. Um, oh, look at that. He is here and he let us in today. So here you go, Lewis. Here are your shorts. Finally, it took us so long to get these. You found them? Where? Oh, um, heh. <laughs> there? I have no idea how they could have gotten there. Oh, sure, Lewis. This stays between you and me. Got it? 
Okay. <laughs> he is a little bit embarrassed about that, which is understandable because that's a very strange place to find somebody's uh, purple shorts. But we finally completed that quest and we have to uh, uh, grab a reward for that too. 750 gold. Okay. It sounds like he's uh, paying us off a little bit to keep quiet about this situation, which uh, we're okay with. We'll definitely keep quiet for him, right? <laughs> we won't let anyone know where we finally found his purple shorts. But we should probably go back to, uh, oh, wait a second. We should go back to the beach <laughs> to place our last crab pot, which I completely forgot about. Oh, my goodness. So we'll go down to the beach. We'll place our last crab pot. Hello, Abigail. <laughs> and then we'll go back to Cattail Farm and quickly pop these little fairy seeds in the ground because I think they are going to look very, very nice once they're fully grown. I can't wait to see what types of uh, colors we'll get out of these flowers because usually when we plant flowers, they pop up in all different colors. And look at that. We have a crab today. We have an actual crab in our crab pot. It's a real crab, guys. <laughs> it's not trash and it's not driftwood. It is a crab. Oh my goodness, what a day. Today has been uh, quite lucky for us. For once, oh my goodness, we have had uh, some rotten luck in uh, Stardew Valley in the fall time lately. So I am so glad to see that we are actually having a lucky day today. It looks like we only have one piece of coral to pick up on the beach, but I honestly don't even care. <laughs> I am just so happy that we finally got a crab out of our crab pot. Um, I don't think we're going to have time to run up to the Junimos and give it to them, so we'll just go right back to Cattail Farm, and we'll save that for the next episode as well. We have a lot to accomplish in the next episode, too. Our days are getting busier and busier, it feels like. But I definitely want to plant these fairy seeds so they can uh, start growing, because it says that it takes 12 days to produce a mysterious flower. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't know it was a mysterious flower. That sounds very interesting. So we'll have to uh, bring out our hoe now and find a new spot to plant our flowers because I did take up that area with um, all of our wild seeds. So let's bring out our hoe here and I think I'll just plant it right in the front of our house because that'll be very nice, won't it? <laughs> we'll have to do this a little bit quickly though because uh, we are running out of time. Um, I'm, I might need to go grab another seed tomorrow too because that's going to annoy me <laughs> having one spot left over. But we'll just water those up nice and... Uh, Nice and quickly, so they're all ready for uh, growing in the morning, and we will tuck Jess into bed now <laughs> because it's getting quite late. We'll say goodnight to Daisy, we'll tuck her into bed, and we'll end out the episode. So in the next episode, I guess we'll finally have a crab to turn into the Junimos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to uh, finish that entire bundle soon. That would be interesting, but thank you guys so much for watching today, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!